Hello everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and welcome to, it's not really a new series, it's, I mean this video is focusing on pie skincare but I thought I could do a kind of like sensitive skin approved kind of thing because I do have really sensitive skin, I say it in pretty much every video, it's pretty normal in terms of like I don't get super oily and it's not crazy, crazily dry but it is quite dehydrated, quite lacklustre and very sensitive so like things, certain products I don't react well to and I've been moving towards a more natural skincare routine for a while now and one of the brands that I've seen come up time and time again is Pi. I ordered some stuff before Christmas because there was an amazing, it was Black Friday, the only Black Friday order I made was on uh, Look Fantastic because they had such a good deal on this brand because their stuff is quite expensive regularly so I bought a whole handful of things, I've been testing them out since Black Friday so what's that November, December, January? like four months no no it's not fe it is February yeah. I'm just gonna review them here for you I do have some notes next to me so you know because I'm a professional I'm not but subscribe if you want to see some like cruelty free and vegan videos then that's kind of my area so yeah turn the bell on subscribe etc etc follow my socials um but yeah pie skincare in general I was reading about the brand the other day and they are geared towards people with sensitive skin so you would think that I would like them and overall my opinion of the brand is love a lot of their stuff like I, I I'm not a skincare expert but I know what I know my skin I can kind of quite quickly tell when testing a product whether my skin's gonna like it or not and yeah overall I do recommend this brand I think it's really really good if you can get it on a sale it's even better because stuff is quite expensive I'll tell you the prices as we go through but like I say it is aimed at people with sensitive skin it's formulated without parabens phenoxyethanol petrochemicals SLS artificial fragrance and alcohol so like alcohols in general for me I find can be quite drying depending on the alcohol like you can get fatty alcohols which are the opposite you know they're not as stripping and drying I'm just going to go through each product that I've got so I've got their cleanser one of their toners face cream eye cream face mask and face oil so let's start with the cleanser this is a sensible step to start with so this is the camellia and rose or camellia and rose gentle hydrating cleanser this is a cream cleanser aimed at dry and sensitive skin it is also an eye makeup remover which i didn't realize um at the time of purchasing this i thought it was just a cleanser this retails for 30 pounds and it came with a cloth it came with this dual sided cloth it's nothing like revolutionary like you can see i've been using it but it's basically one side's a flannel the other side's like a muslin cloth it's fine it's nice that they include it but let's focus on the product so like i say it's a cream cleanser, comes out creamy, comes with a pump and it does definitely clean the skin nicely. I use it as a second step in my cleansing routine so I'll use a cleansing oil. I've been using the Bybee one, the Swipe Clean one by Bybee. Once I've washed my cleansing oil off I then go in with this and this gets rid of any any extra, specifically eye makeup that I've got on my face left over. This breaks down really really nicely and I like it a lot. The only issue with this is that because of the scent, I don't know what it is in terms of, it's like obviously a natural scent, it's just the natural scent of the ingredients but it can sometimes and it depends when I use it my eyes can sometimes feel irritated by it like I properly work this into my lashes and sometimes it's fine sometimes I wash it off and it's absolutely fine takes the makeup off nicely sometimes it does sting my eyes whereas more recently I've been using the tropic cream cleanser and that one works just as well as this and doesn't sting my eyes so although I do love the effect of this on the skin in terms of it cleans the skin really nicely without stripping it at all it leaves the skin hydrated but clean like if you do have dry skin I think this would be a good option for you but even if you have oily skin like if you have oily sensitive skin this might be a good option too I do think it's a good product and I will continue to use it but sometimes it stings my eyes rarely but sometimes i thought i'd mention it anyway next up their toner so this is their lotus and orange blossom bio affinity skin tonic this is aimed at people who have redness dry or sensitive skin so i personally don't like this it's not like even that i don't like it i just don't think it's worth the money so this is 30 pounds and i think there are other toners out spray toners that i prefer the mist and i prefer the formula so i really like the evolve daily defense mist that's one of my favorites i've also been using one from neil's yard recently which i do really like as well and there's one by trilogy which i've just opened up and started using and that's really nice i've got so many on the go at the moment but um yeah the mist is fine like you can see that it's hopefully you'll be able to see on camera like it is quite fine it's a nice dispersion of product but you can't use this as a setting spray as well as a toner like i love face mists when you can use them as a refreshing toner before your makeup but also after your makeup like throughout the day or to set your makeup in place once you finish doing it this is just a little bit too chunky to do that but also the fact that it's got orange blossom in just I don't love orange blossom as an ingredient in face sprays I found that ones I've used before orange blossom 
to me is a bit too harsh. Maybe it's just my imagination, but products I've used before that have orange blossom in, they just feel more geared towards people with oily skin. And maybe that's just my imagination. I haven't really looked into orange blossom that much, but I just don't think this is nourishing enough. I prefer like a, either a milky kind of mist or just something a bit more hydrating, something that's got hyaluronic acid in. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this and I don't particularly recommend it. It's probably my least favourite product I've tried from Pi. Let's move on to more of a positive review. This I love. So this is their day cream, and this retails for £38, so it's quite expensive. It comes in a glass bottle, um, but it has a pump, and this I love. It is a step above any other day cream I've used before, and I would definitely repurchase this. It, it, the full name is the Chamomile and Rosehip Calming Day Cream. I definitely agree, it is very calming. How I would describe this is an eye cream for the face. Like you know how an eye cream is delicate and really intensely hydrating and nourishing? It's like that but in a day cream. But it's not thick. It's not thick or heavy or like cakey. Like I wear this underneath makeup but I also use it as like an evening cream as well. I mean I know it's a day cream but I find it hydrating enough to use in the evening. I love this. I would definitely recommend it. It's almost got like a gel quality to it. I'm going through this so quickly though because I use it all the time. I can't fault the formula of this, it's great. And Rosehip is really good for scarring as well. Actually quite a few of their products have got Rosehip in. I've got two of their Rosehip Bioregenerate products. So uh, let's start with the mask. This is, the full name is Rosehip Bioregenerate Rapid Radiance Mask. It does for £30 for 75 millilitres. This is definitely a brightening product but it's also a hydrating product. And what I like about this is it's not like a harsh brightening product. Like some masks you buy, it goes on like a cream and and most masks that are brightening that I've tried are kind of more like a gel and they seem to use you know different kinds of acids and AHAs and blah 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 to make your complexion brighter whereas this I feel like it does it without tingling the skin at all because whenever I use those like the Juice Beauty green apple solution thing it just oh, I'm using my hands too much aren't I just calm <laughs> um this is different in that it's nourishing as well as brightening. It's a really quickly working product as well, like I definitely agree with the rapid radiance thing. I can tell when I've used this, which is weird because most skincare I can't really tell too much other than what it feels like, whereas this, what, it, what my skin looks like, I just look better when I use this. Really nice to use also like in the morning sometimes if I put up early and I don't need to leave for like a couple of hours, I'll put it on in the morning and it doesn't Sounds weird, but sometimes I like putting a face mask on and like going about my day, you know, tidying up or making food or whatever. And this isn't like sticky, so like my hair doesn't stick to my face. It just feels like you've got a face cream on and it, it will sink into your skin nicely. So it's not like messy to remove. It's got a slight kind of yellowy tint to it because of the rose hip. Is, a rose hip is quite a bright orangey colour, looks like this. But yeah, it's not messy at all, it's not mucky. I think it's a great mask all round for a beginner in skincare. For anyone who just wants a very low maintenance but well working product. Well working, well functioning. It's a good mask. I like it a lot. Would definitely repurchase it. £30 is quite expensive but also some face masks can be ridiculously priced. Like I say the other product I've got from them is their Rosehip Bioregenerate Oil and this retails for, it's not as expensive as I thought it was going to be actually, it's £24. I thought this would be quite a lot but this is great. I've used this actually, I thought this was the first time I was buying it, but I've actually tried a sample of this before and I forgot about it, but I remember loving it. It was like a rollerball. I think I must have featured it in a favourites actually, because I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. But this is really good if you've got scarring and you want something that's going to not be too heavy, because I feel like, I don't know what the difference is between this and rosehip oil, but from rosehip oils that I've used before, they feel oily. They feel kind of heavy, whereas this is nice and light. You only need a couple of drops. You can mix it in with your moisturiser and it will give that brightening effect. It helps me with my acne scars because I did have quite bad acne at one stage. I've also got a scar on my nose that I kind of work this into. I like using it with a rose quartz roller i've got one from herbivore which i mentioned in my recent favorites video but this is lovely this is really really good and it's got such great reviews like this is a cult product people i don't ever met anybody or talked to anybody who doesn't like this who's tried it i've never read a negative review and i think it really does work if you want something that's going to be brightening and also helping you with like skin tone and also help you reduce scars then I would recommend this. And last but not least, we've got their eye cream. This is the Etchum and Argan Gentle Eye Cream. It is a gentle eye cream, like it's very gentle, but bugger. This is very gentle. It is nice and hydrating, but not too heavy. I use it in the daytime, I use it in the nighttime. Sometimes, actually when I took this on holiday with me, I started to use it as a face cream, which was probably a bit of a waste. That's one negative of this. It retails for £32. You can't see how much you've got left. It's good for travel in that sense. I like that it's got a pump. I do like eye creams that you can kind of 
squeeze out as opposed to put your finger in. But yeah, you can't see how much you've got left, so I don't know how far through I am of this. But I do know very cool girl Lex on Instagram. She, I, I asked her before I bought this whether it's any good. She loves it. She says she's got really, really dry eyelids. And I don't know quite if she said eyelids and underneath the eyes or just eyelids, but she said this is the only thing that helps her, that really, really works for her. So yeah, maybe if you do have really, really dry eyelids and you have, you've tried loads of different products and they aren't working for you, this might be a winner. For me personally, would I repurchase it? I would repurchase it, but I would probably try other eye creams first because I just, I ha it's not like holy grail status, but it's still really, really good. And I do like testing the waters with eye creams. So that is my little pie skincare review. Definitely sensitive skin approved, apart from the tonic, like the toner. Don't love that, but everything else. I really enjoy it. In fact, if I had to recommend Hmm, I can't really pick one product, but I would definitely recommend the day cream and something from the rosehip line Like if you can't get on with oils, but you still want that brightening effect I'd re recommend the mask but the oil like I say really nice as well tried and tested so those are my faves But yeah, thank you so much for watching if you like the idea of a sensitive skin approved series Then I can carry on doing this. I've got loads of skincare to test out I've got some stuff from Trilogy to test out and also Neil's Yard So if you'd be interested in like any more of these kind of videos, I could do one on a Evolve Beauty as well, then yeah, just leave me a comment with the brand you'd like me to test. And if I've got it in my collection, I will review. Subscribe if you'd like to, and I'm gonna love you and leave you. Hope you're doing well, and hopefully, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.